start off by saying thanks everyone that reached out last night I didn't really mean to make a uh, depressing video but um, it was just the reality of the day it just didn't go well and I was really really exhausted and ready to be inside but um, that's just part of farming there's stuff that's got to be done and it's got to be done right away so that's that um, today we are talking about the mystery animal and that mystery animal is a Dexter bull. Now a Dexter is a breed of cattle and it's a bull so it's an intact male. It's a calf um, and he's all registered. He's a registered Dexter bull. And my goals here are to raise and sell registered Dexter cattle. Now, as well as produce beef, they're a dual purpose breed. Um, they are very good milkers. Their milk quality is really good and their beef quality is fantastic. They marble incredibly well on grass. Um, they are a smaller breed, so the bull will max out at, you know, 1,000, 1,100 pounds um, will be his max weight, you know, if he's, if he's in good, good condition. Um, whereas an Angus could be, a bull could be 2,000 pounds, so. They're quite a bit smaller of an animal, but I believe that the world is moving into or needs to move into smaller frame cattle. Um, Angus are the cream of the crop. Everybody wants them. Everyone talks about them. Um, but at the end of the day, they're just massive, massive animals. And they, not all, this is generalizing quite a bit, but they require a quite a bit more, from what I gather, um, inputs. The Dexters are very well known for calving ease which is important because I'm off farm 10 to 12 hours a day. So calving ease is a major plus and one of the reasons I'm going with them. Um, they are very docile, very, very tame animals. Um, they're parasite resistant. They're very hardy in cold and warm conditions. They're very re resourceful with, um, you know, what they're eating. They're not picky. They'll they'll graze. They'll browse. They'll do a little bit of everything, and um, still marble. Get a good get a good marble in the meat. Um, and one of the biggest pluses also is that they are very easy to keep contained. Now. Angus cattle get the nickname fence jumpers for a reason. And if I'm at work and I get a call, you know, that screws my day up. 
at midnight if I get a call, at 1 a.m. if I get a call, at 4 a.m. if I get a call. I just want to avoid that as much as possible. And it's not, I'm not sacrificing anything doing that. I think I'm still getting, in my opinion, and now I have not owned cattle. This will be my very first bovine animal. So I'm not talking from experience. I'm talking from research and what I see other people do. Um, I'm not sacrificing anything by going with a De Dexter. So yeah, that's... Uh, that's why a little bit of why I'll go more in depth on everything when I actually have him here. Um, I'm actually getting kind of nervous because the person hasn't emailed me back as far as pickup yet. So I'm getting, I just want him here so that I know I have him. But he is a red, they come in red, black, and done are the colors. He's red, he's pulled, he has the pulled gene, so he doesn't have horns naturally, which is nice because when I have calves, I don't have to dehorn, you know, unless I have, I don't have a pulled heifer or whatever, or cow. Um, so that's a plus. And he carries the gene for A2, A2 protein for the milk. So if I get a heifer or cow with A2 protein, they'll have a calf with A2 protein. And if they have a cow or a heifer with A1, then there's a 50% chance that he'll have that. And what that is, the, so there's A1 and A2, as far as I know, protein getting chewed on um, for milk. And the A1 protein is what gives a lot of people issues if you think you're lactose intolerant or are lactose intolerant or if you don't think it needs a name and you just don't do well with dairy there's a very good chance that it's the a1 protein that is messing you up and i don't know all the science and all that um i know that a large majority of the milk in this country comes from holsteins and they are I'm not sure if they're only A1, but I know they're at least primarily A1. So if you switch to A2, a lot of people find that they don't have any negative reaction to it. Um, so if I wanted to keep a milk cow for the family, I could do that. They produce, I think, two to three gallons a day, so it's not a ridiculous amount. Um, as well as it's a good selling point for calves. If people want to, want to homestead and they want a dairy cow or you know they want a cow-calf pair for meat and dairy, the Dexter's a perfect option for that. Um, yeah, so I think that covers his, everything I know about him so far. He is a calf, like I said. Um, so yeah, hopefully in the near future, I'll, ha I'll have him on the farm. Um, if I don't hear anything tomorrow, I'm going to call and just confirm. I already put money down on him. So, so hopefully he'll be here soon. You guys getting the hang of that? You messed up, chicken. That's gonna do it for today's video. Again, thank you guys for all the support and reaching out. That was really, uh, really awesome.
Um, again, I didn't try to make it a downer video, but um, I was just tired and it, and it kind of sucked, but I want to show the highs and the lows of everything. So until next time, keep liking, subscribing, sharing with friends. I'm going to go look for a truck. Keep farming. We'll see you later.